Hello from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some higher end options as well as some fine dining. We took about a 25 minute Uber from Puerto Vallarta and we're here at this restaurant called Le Cliff. This beautiful restaurant overlooking this cliff, the perfect spot to see an awesome Puerto Vallarta sunset. So, just arrived. I think it's funny, right here, there's a sign that says no pets allowed and then four feet away, there's a cat. <laughs> When I made this reservation on Open Table, I put in like the request line that I, I wanted a table next to the cliff with a great sunset view. Um, as, as it turns out, every table here <laughs> fits that description, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Uh, but my first impression coming here is that this is like the perfect romantic fancy date spot. To start, I got what is possibly the most expensive margarita I've ever purchased in my life. And they claim it's the very best one in Puerto Vallarta because all the ingredients are grown here and they use some fancy pants tequila. So I got the one with cucumber and serrano pepper. I mean, it, it is a very good margarita. 450 peso margarita. Before coming here, I was more or less expecting this to be like a restaurant on the side of a cliff with a bunch of tables, right? But as it turns out, it's much more than that. They've uh, developed like an extensive array of different places where you can take pictures. Uh, there's places you can climb up, there's a swing, there's uh, various miradors that are specifically intended for picture taking. There's these mirrors, so you can take like a mirror selfie with the sunset in the background. It's pretty interesting. Yet another mirror. <laughs> And the Mac Daddy of all the picture spots, I think, is this swing right here, right on the edge. The longer I'm here, the more I see. There, there's so much to this place. Right in front of the swing here, you have these awesome views down to the waves crashing on these enormous rounded rocks. It's really awesome. They even built this metal platform behind me here where you can climb way up and then take a picture with angel wings at the top. I am terrified. Okay, I thought all the other miradores were really cool. The other places for pictures were really cool, but I hate this last one. There, it's not solid. There's big old holes in the bottom of this, and I'm scared of heights, so I don't like this at all. I'm shaking, and I'm hoping I don't drop you into the ocean. This place is crazy. It is so elaborate. There's so many steps and miradors and places to take pictures. This is awesome. I love it. The rock has grown around the cement slab. I was trying to do something fancy for this dinner tonight. So naturally I went with the most expensive thing on the menu, the lobster tail. I haven't had a lobster tail in a long time. It was 850 pesos and I am excited to dig into this. My final thoughts on Lake Cliff. The service was incredible, like awesome service. The destination is super cool with all the places you can take pictures and the views and the sunsets. It's totally awesome. The one downside I have, and unfortunately it's kind of a big one, is the food really didn't live up to our expectations. It just wasn't nearly as good as I would expect a fine dining experience to be. All in all, I'd recommend this place for the experience. I just hope they can up their food game a little bit. Today I'm doing a day pass at this resort near Puerto Vallarta in this place called Punta Mita. The resort is Marival Armony. I wouldn't be able to afford this normally because it's like 13,000 pesos a night. However, a day pass is 1,800 pesos and it's all inclusive for the day and this resort is absolutely beautiful and one of the most breathtaking parts of the country. So I am excited for this today. In my all-inclusive experiences so far, the food has been like bad to mediocre and maybe decent at like a really nice place. <laughs> However, breakfast here at Marival Armony was awesome. I absolutely loved it. It was not only great presentation, but it was also really delicious. Uh, I had like this thing that looked like an Eggs Benedict, but it wasn't Eggs Benedict, and everything was cooked perfectly. The flavor profile worked awesome, and 
Everything's included in this day pass. I'll be showing you around the resort today and seeing if a day pass here is worth it. The main pool here at Marival has this awesome infinity edge pool that extends all the way along over here. All the way over here to the swim up bar where I will definitely be getting some drinks. Actually, I've already gotten a couple of drinks, uh, but more, I'm trying to pace myself. <laughs> Amigo, quiero lo mismo por favor. Before coming to Marival, I emailed them uh, to make sure I could get a day pass, and they're like, yeah, come on over. Uh, so to get here from Puerto Vallarta, it's a little over an hour drive, and I just ordered an Uber, and it was, I don't know, something like 480 pesos. <laughs> I told the guy I was going to give him a big tip since it was so far out of town, and I didn't know if he was going to be able to get a ride back. So I, I put in a 200 peso tip in the Uber app, and it's like, nope, the maximum for this trip is 150. You can't tip any more than 150. So that's what I did. I do not know how I'm going to get back to Puerto Vallarta today because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get an Uber from here. You can order an Uber in the app, but so far it says no cars available. So I guess we'll see. The view and beaches here at Marival are amazing. I'm definitely, definitely going to be going down to the beach in a little bit here. Wow. Laying out by this pool, this is the life. I can get used to this. From the pool here, I can see this island right there. It's called Las Marietas, I believe. And it's a tourist attraction here, uh, but it's like a big old hole in a rock that was artificially created from the Mexican army doing some bomb testing or something like that. <laughs> So I think it's kind of funny that some artificially created hole has become a tourist attraction. The pool bar no longer had any shade whatsoever, but I look over here and oh, there's like some palm tree and palapa shade. With a view out to the water. Hell yeah. This day pass is good for eight hours from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And right now is four hours into it. I was thinking that this would feel like a long day, but it has gone by so fast. These first four hours have flown by, but now I'm gonna grab some lunch, see what's at the lunch restaurant here. I think it's gonna be a buffet, but we'll see. All right, I got a table with a gorgeous view out to the water, and now I'm gonna go check out the buffet and see what's around. By the way, so far, the only place at the resort that uh, face masks have been required is coming into the buffet here but I looked around, there's lots of things that look awesome, so I'm gonna go get a plate full, and then I'll show you what I got. There's a cute little taco station here. What would I expect? Of course there's gonna be a taco station. Quiero dos tacos en tortilla de maíz, por favor. Camarón y pescado, por favor. Cilantro. Y las cebollas. For my first plate, I got a couple of tacos, a fish taco, a shrimp taco, and then a piece of salmon. And then, of course, the best view. For my second plate, I got a jacked up beef wellington. I take no responsibility for the way it looks. I did not do that. <laughs> and then a lemon chicken and a little dessert here. And they have this other area set up here. Uh, it's open till five, they call it like their snack area with various ceviches and some other stuff here. So that buffet lunch, mm, I didn't think it was that great. I'd give it like three stars. Uh, but damn, if I could have another one of those breakfasts, that was so good. <laughs> My time is winding down here at Marival. I have about an hour left. And I decided to come back to the pool bar for another drink. This time they have better liquors than they did earlier. This time I was able to get Don Julio Reposado and mineral water. I spent most of my day here at Marival out by the pool and the beach, but this resort is really pretty with all the greenery and that, that one pool isn't the only pool, there's others as well. And that's just like the main one. That infinity edge pool overlooking the beautiful water and pristine beach, I love it. I've really enjoyed this, getting this day pass here today. I think it's worth it, like I'd do this again on a Puerto Vallarta trip where like I 
can't afford to stay at a fancy hotel like this, so then I just do a day pass here one of the days instead. Yeah, I think it's worth it. If you're wanting to come to Marival on a day pass, make sure you email them first because this weekend they were too busy and they're like, no, the occupancy is too high. We can't offer you a day pass, but they're like, you can come on Monday. So that's what I did. Punta Mita is probably the most exclusive, the most expensive area anywhere around Puerto Vallarta. And what I was told is that Punta Mita, before being resorts, like they bought out all the land of the locals. Um, so they would have this pristine land to build these big, beautiful resorts. I wasn't sure how I was going to get back to Puerto Vallarta tonight. I was assuming I'd probably have to take an expensive cab to all the way there or like if I wanted a little bit cheaper a cab to Busarias and then uh, grab an Uber in Busarias to get back. Uh, I was going to attempt to use Uber and over the past couple of hours I was trying to like see if there were any cars available and there never were. Well I requested a ride on Uber, there was no one around so it never got accepted. So then I switched, before ordering a cab at the hotel, I switched to the app InDriver, which I use sometime in Mexico because although it's cash only, um, it's usually a little bit cheaper than Uber and drivers tend to arrive faster. So I offered 500 pesos on there, even though it said there were no cars anywhere close. And within 10 seconds, I had a ride for 500 pesos cash to Puerto Vallarta. So yay, no cab tonight. If you're coming to Mexico, one problem I guarantee you're going to run into is that you're gonna get home at the end of the night, you're gonna open up your laptop, go to your favorite websites, and they're all going to be in Spanish. Instead of Fahrenheit, it's gonna be in Celsius. Instead of miles, things will be in kilometers. Everything's going to be different. Well, one easy way to get around this is to get a VPN. A VPN allows you to virtually change your location. So with the click of a button, you can change your location to the United States or to Canada or to wherever you want to be and your websites are magically back in English. If you want to check out our favorite VPN, you can go to tangerinevpn.com. It's the only major VPN company I know about that gives you unlimited devices for one subscription. So you buy one subscription and it covers all your phones, all your TVs, for your whole family, all your tablets, everything. If you want to check it out, you can go to tangerinevpn.com. That's our affiliate link, and it'll take you right to their website. They're running a sale right now. It's 84% off plus four extra months free. Again, that's tangerinevpn.com. There is no shortage of fine dining experiences here in Puerto Vallarta, and one of those mini is La Leche. This is my first time here, and I totally did not know what to expect. Walking up to the building, it's completely white with some black accents, and you have the exact same thing inside. Everything is totally white. They brought out some water for us, and the first thing, he comes up with a plate of sliced fruit for us to decide what we want in our water. I love that. And to start, we have the cocktail cart here, and they're uh, whipping up some specialty cocktails. For my first drink from the cocktail man, I got a fancy ass margarita. It's about 250 pesos. Big thumbs up for me. Mm, very good. I made a reservation at La Leche for 6 p.m. and we walk up and we're the very first ones here. They're like, okay, give, give us a few minutes. <laughs> and now that we're in the restaurant, it's kind of making me nervous because there's like, I don't know, 15 employees just standing around watching us drink our drinks. <laughs> um, so if I had a tip for you, one tip, it's to get here a little later than six. <laughs> for my next drink, I got a different margarita. This one has basil and ginger and pineapple. I'm gonna give it a try. Wow, oh that's so good, there's so many flavors. It's like the first thing you smell is a pineapple, but then you drink it and then you taste something else. I think it's the basil, uh, and then you taste the pineapple after that. Oh, that's so good, such a great mixture of flavors. For dinner, I got the seafood ravioli. This looks amazing. 
it was a bit pricey, but this is like fine dining experience, right? So it was uh, 460 pesos, and I'm going to dig into this. It has like oysters and shrimp and clams and other seafood as well. La Leche was a super unique experience. It was like no restaurant I've ever been to. My food was awesome. I loved that seafood ravioli, and both drinks I got were very tasty as well. I definitely recommend this place if you're looking for a higher end option in Vallarta. If you like this video, here's another one on the screen you can click on that I recently made in Puerto Vallarta. But before you go, please subscribe to our channel and one more thing, gong that bell so you get notified every time we release a new video and we will see you on Saturday morning.